Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Luke, content and creative strategist for Affiliate World. Welcome to Affiliate Hot Wings. It's the show with hot bites of spicy insights and spicy wings. Today we're joined by Nick Shackelford, one of the biggest names in the industry that's making his way to the hottest show in 2023 in Dubai. He's known for running the structured agency. He eats Facebook ads for breakfast, devours TikTok ads for lunch, and for dinner, let's find out if he can take the spice. He's about to devour 10 hot wings that get hotter as we go, guaranteed to test your taste buds. All right, you ready? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you sweating? Yeah. <laughs> let's, go. let's go with the first, first hot wing here, number one. That's actually, that's good. So out of 10, how do you think you're gonna handle affiliate hot wings? I, I like spicy food. I'm a little, I'm a little Mexican. Okay. I am, and I am open to always trying spicy stuff, especially Indian food. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. I haven't had any meals today, so okay. it's an empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Man. If your fingers start tingling and stuff, or we have an ambulance right outside. Okay. I'm just joking, we don't. It's just Chad's car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark Pace smashed his face, oh. giving you an open door to be the number one goalie. What did you learn over the years of playing professional soccer that still translates to today? That's a, that's a flashback. So I, the biggest thing I would say, be ready for your opportunity. And I think that really reigns true right now because everything that we're experiencing in this ad world and, and with the paid media, you might not be your time to shine, but as soon as it is, you better be ready, you better be stepped up, you better be ready to rock and roll. Yeah. And so like with soccer, as a backup, someone that was fighting for an opportunity to win, I, I had to be ready. I might not be able to play that weekend, yeah. but I had to be ready if I had to play that weekend, mm -hmm. which is how I feel with our media buyers, with our creative strategies. Like at one point, one time, your, your number is gonna get called and you better be yeah. ready to play. Uh, so I have a little, little thing right here. So. <laughs> What went from being a toy to help autistic kids to being a national phenom, becoming one of Toys R Us's biggest toys in recent years, what are the early signs that made you confident that this thing would scale? Oh my God, what a flashback. I actually have so many, I actually have like fidget sliders and I have like fidget like pills and stuff. I, I love this stuff. So <laughs> that, why that worked, there's three reasons why that worked. First, it was being 3D printed on Instagram and they were selling through DMs and shout outs. Okay. So I was like, wow, that's really early. And we were deep in that space. Mm. My co-founder Jake was the one who was like, let's go, let's go deep. Yeah. Second, it was a trend that started working before school started. And why that's important, like you, mm. you have little ones, right? Yeah. When one person has it and people think it's cool, the next person thinks it's cool and the next yeah. person. So it went really viral Got it. naturally through the school system. Got it. And so that is what pumped it up incredibly. And then also price point. It. it was at like 20 bucks, at like enough where your mom will pay for it. Yeah. And so we kind of hit all three. These are 20 bucks. When we were selling them, 20 bucks. And and in store, when we had to go big box, $25, $30. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, what would you pay for that now? Probably like $5. If that. Maybe like three. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty I can sell you. There's just <laughs> bunch in boxes. Oh man. Allison Fuller on. What does she mean to you? Um, yeah, go ahead. That's a... So, uh, that's a trip. Um, Alizon, so this office right here that we're in mm -hmm. shares a wall with my first job I've ever had in my life. Got it. Which was with Apple's Media Arts Lab, uh, which was my first job at Resolution Media. Alizon was the, the first person to trust me and give me a job. Got it. So she, if it wasn't for her, I'd, we wouldn't be trying to burn our mouth off. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you do maybe in other ways, but yes. insane question for you. Okay. Um, would you rather have nipple sized fingers or finger sized nipples? Oh man. So <laughs> I actually have finger sized nipples. No. <laughs> Very small nipples, dude. Super small nipples. No, finger sized <laughs> as in it's like a finger oh, sticking out. Oh, I think it's so small. No. Like, <laughs> like, so like nipple sized fingers, like you have hooves oh for hands, yeah. or like big old tassel it's, nipples coming out. I'm glad you explained it now that I have like a nice, good visual. Thanks yeah, for that. yeah. Um, they don't have knuckles on them, like they can't move, just they're just hanging cool. there. I think it would, uh, fuck, that's a tough one. Um, explain it again. So you have, you get to choose between nipples that are this big on, uh, on you and hang out and dangle. Or like fingers that are like that big. Okay. 
<laughs> it reminds me of a van who has like little finger hands that he likes to play with. I would say very small fingers because okay. I think it would ruin my shirts. Yeah. It's like all clothing would be very awful. I've actually awful. never heard that answer. Cool. Everyone says that they can conceal the finger size nipples. No way, dude. But what if it gets cold? That thing's standing out like that. That is very true. It's ridiculous. I didn't think about that. Would it hurt people? You feel the heat. Okay, it's starting to go. Yeah. Once we get to the top row, it's going to be a different story. Okay. You're a regular at Affiliate World shows across the globe. What's your craziest Affiliate World story? Um, okay. It's not, it's not as like, first off, I'm very grateful that I get to continue to come, come because as long as I have new content that's relevant and fresh, I'll keep coming back. If not, I'll just retire and call it a day. Yeah. Um, the, I would say the craziest thing that I've been a part of was we were in Dubai last year, which I'm excited to again. We did the tour of like the sand tour. Oh, cool. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. The affiliate world crew sends a limo to go pick people up on the side of the road in Dubai. Oh, we're, we're literally in like a sanctuary and they're like, hey, how do I get, how do I take this Jeep land or uh, Land Cruiser back to find my limo to take me back to the world for yeah. the party. I'm like what? Like that? Are we living real life? We're literally got off a camel, jumped into a Land Rover, ran over dunes, picked up it by a, a a limo, and took me back to a party. That she was wild. That was last year. So I was it's like, not real life. How does this even? What are we, we doing? Yeah. We're, we're internet nerds. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Affiliate world doesn't mess around. <laughs> no. You haven't been. You need to go. They have some of the craziest times all over the world. We know that affiliates have done mind-boggling numbers running app installs for now IPO companies like Uber. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the craziest growth stories you've heard from other marketers? So I would have to say, actually, James Van Nelswick and Matt. Matt, they did, I can't do the full, full numbers. They said it on stage, but I won't, I won't repeat it here. They funded the most amount of, of leads for ERC, or sorry, for PPP loans in the ERC program, more than most majority banks. And that was off of the back of like paid media and strategy and ads. And, and it made a lot of, you got a lot of people jobs, right? Yeah. It, it helped a lot of businesses out that needed it. And that was affiliates, right? Yeah. That was marketers. Yeah. So that was one big one. Second is we have a good friend of ours that sells massive trucks with giveaways by selling t-shirts. So that was really cool as hmm. well. Like how, who, who's giving away trucks or selling trucks on a, on a massive scale? People affiliate world. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, um, from what I've seen, just getting into a, the affiliate um, realm, is there's a lot of like selfish, selfishness that can happen. Oh, yeah. But I think the story that you said, um, you're creating better lives for a lot of people, which is really cool. Well, it's it's, some, it's funny you brought that up because like the more than the world, this is why I think that stands the test of time, like these events, is because you get to a point where like yeah, you're you might not share everything, right? Like you you might hold back a little something. But you only need to hear one or two sentences to make connection. Be like, that's what they did. Yeah. And if they can get that connection and that is shared on stage or that is shared in a conversation or that's shared at a bar, yeah. Well, don't yeah. deal. Like yeah, paid, yeah. that paid for your potential year. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. By the way, these wings are huge. Yeah, they're gigantic. Like that's not a little wing. There's like a big thigh piece attached to the wing. All right, so what's the weirdest thing you've ever said on stage? Okay, this is actually, again, recent, and you have to call back to Dubai. So I was basically 226 pounds. Right now, as I sit here, I'm about uh, 195, 200 fluctuating. Okay. They opened up live chat on the back of one of my, like, you know, they ask questions at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Whoever was not moderating the back of it, someone calls me and had a big old beard, someone goes, is this DJ Khaled on stage? <laughs> Literally straight up called me out on it to the point where like I was already self-conscious. I was already fat as fuck. I can I was, totally I was, see it though. I was so sad. Like the beard was lined up, but I was a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. So I get off the stage and I was like, oh yeah, my friends, like who joked about it? No one joked. That was like a real yeah, person yeah, saying real yeah, shit to me. Yeah. I, I wait all the way till Barcelona and I lose all that weight. And so I jump on stage and I'm like, Thank you so much for calling me DJ Khaled. This has been the best diet ever. Affiliate Road, shout out to you. You don't have to just lose weight by selling pills. <laughs> it was wild. Like, I was like, first off, for them to have the boss to call me out on stage, yeah. and then for Phil to read it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, help me out here, man. It's like, a, it's like a sick prank. Yeah, that I was on, what, hey look, 
I'm happy with my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me lose yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah. of weight. Yeah. And like when you're so that was the main factor that made you lose the weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm a forever it. grateful wow. to to that one person. You should go back with a fat suit and say we the best music <laughs> next time you get on stage. <laughs> that should be a walkout song, please, please. please, please. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so, what's your biggest failure, and what did you learn from it? Um, okay. So I, I thought a little bit about this because I knew it would either be like, what's your biggest win or biggest failure? Mm -hmm. So you guys, thanks for highlighting the losses. Um, the biggest failure was not realizing the role that I should have played sooner. Mm -hmm. Here's what I mean. Right now, I am. I, I had to step down, and I, I say had, but I should have stepped down earlier as the CEO of my company. Got it. Because two reasons. One, if you realize you're incredible at one thing and you're trying to pretend to be something else because of your ego, check that immediately mm. and so i i wasn't i was like this is who nick is this is my identity i'm mm. the fidget i'm the facebook i'm that guy mm -hmm. right and up until my par partners look at me like dude do what you do best yeah sit in the position of partnership drive revenue make connections build relationships mm. and like let us handle this mm. and so that was and I, I i call it a failure because i should have acknowledged it earlier because yeah. now we would have been Maybe we would have been bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we wouldn't have made those decisions with me, or maybe me, I would have lost, I lost business. Yeah. So I think as soon as you realize something that like, hey, I should not be in this spot, or why am I feeling friction? Yeah. The world has a funny way of telling you, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, that's not what you should be right now. Yeah. That was um, it leads me to the question, which yeah. isn't one of the questions, but like, kind of what are you working on right now? Oh, so right now I would say the focus is Built, uh, so what was so good to me in my life was ad leaks. Mm. That gave me a name, a reputation, a place to connect with those that I love and a place like, to talk about the things that we talk about here. Yeah. I want to build that for myself. Mm. I, I want a community that I believe in and I love and that will, will focus on for me. Mm. And that's where I'm pouring a lot of time, effort, and cash. You can tell that this one is starting to get that like off the top heat, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. I didn't think the F word would come out now. Leave that one for like seven or yeah, eight. I don't know. That's a premature <laughs> effort. Maybe. <laughs> that's a mother effort right there. Yeah. Tell me a bit about Man Bun Monday and what still resonates today, today in regards to influencer marketing. <laughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> so when I, when I quit playing soccer, I... I, 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 pay, I was making no money. Like yeah. in 2017, I was making no money. Uh, uh, sorry, 2013, 14, 15, soccer, make no money. So I got posted on Man Bun Monday and had a, this long hair. I was like in my soccer, I was like all jacked. Yeah. And I was starting to have people like send me stuff. And I was like, dude, this is amazing. Like, I like, I'm so shallow, no, it really matter, but I was making, <laughs> I was getting stuff for looking attractive. Cool. Um, oh. Yeah, don't do that. I didn't want to. I'm sorry. Don't do that. So, what happened was, I think, why influencer marketing works right now, and I'll speak to it on a very specific way. Right now, for business to business, for like SaaS or marketing tech, I am I have partnerships with tech companies that I believe in that I think people should use still. Yeah. Influencer marketing works if it's authentic to the influencer or authentic to the use case of the consumer. Yeah. I think it's important. But when you're like selling beard oil to other yeah. men with beard oil, I don't know. I don't. Th I think it hits a little bit different. Yeah. But if you're selling like marketing tech to an agency that needs marketing tech, I, I can get behind this. But I would buy beard oil from you. I think so. Man. Yeah. It is a good beard. Yeah, it's a great beard. Thanks. Oh wow, they're getting more. Yeah, they're getting dark. So show us your favorite tattoo, and are there any that you regret getting? I don't have any regrets yet. Um, the, my favorite one's this one. This is my Wi-Fi signal. It's oh, literally a, a, a little Wi-Fi signal, just because I'm, I always need it. Now, so I, I, I was a pro soccer player. Um, not a super successful one, but nonetheless, was there. And I wanted to, I made my money with my body, and now I make my money with the internet. Mm. So the whole thing was like uh, super cyborg. I like that. So the whole thing, I got my neck done, and uh, seeing you guys, you're like patting me on the back. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Next time you see me on stage, I might be fully covered. Yeah. So um, you have a little bit of a, a hot sauce right here. Oh. You don't want to touch it. Okay. You want to keep it on. I don't know what to do. <laughs> 
Can we get like someone to help him? Cheers to this one. We got to cheers from now on. All right, so here's three photos of you. And you need to explain the story behind it. <laughs> Where was I? Where are you? So what's happening there? I don't know. Is that me? That's not me. That is definitely you on the bottom. That is definitely you on the bottom. Oh my God. You don't know. <laughs> what, dude? I don't know. Sometimes better stories are left unexplained. Oh God. Wow. So let's talk. I cannot believe you guys got this photo. These are insane. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the same. So, I'm, first off, I'm wearing Reebok shoes. For one, okay. that's like incredible. Who, yeah. who wears Reebok shoes? Yeah. Unless you're doing CrossFit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I was digging a ditch in the back of the house with my mom, and it was hot, and I was like, damn, I feel skinny. So I'm gonna take my clothes off and wear, <laughs> wear some spandex. You're trying to impress someone? Yeah, just, I was, yeah? I was. Yeah. I mean, Shanice and I were early on, but um, <laughs> this is shocking. I do look good there. You look great. Thanks, man. I didn't know you had so much hair, too, <laughs> on your chest and your stomach. There's like a perfect patch. You guys are, you guys are. And so the boxers, though, just you didn't have anything else. That's what logic says. If you're going to get sweaty, just get one piece yeah, sweaty. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Nice contour. So this this last one, first ever. So this is the transition. Uh, this is my intern picture. Okay. At Switch Market, Switch Digital Marketing okay. in St. Louis, where I was an intern, finally, after like, I, I finally got a job. That was my first job in my entire life. Wow. So it was kind of cool. How old were you? Uh, I was a junior in literally sweating. Yeah, I could see the beads coming yeah, down. I'm literally sweating. I was probably a junior in college. Okay. See, I feel butterflies in my stomach. I'm sure you have some too. I was taking multiple bikes. I'm no longer Just one that. is fine. Yep. So rate these ads. Here's three high converting ads. You have to rate them out of 10 and explain why. Oh so God. here's the first one, if you can look over here. Yeah. This is a great ad, actually. I remember shooting this one. A lot of that was shot right here. Um, okay, so you have five seconds. What would you say about that ad? Rate uh, one, to ten, one through 10. Uh, one to 10, I'll give that a, an, an eight. I wish it was hitting a little bit harder in the beginning with the main value prop, even though we do put it in about seven seconds. I like the fact that it went through all the natural uh, quality of fruit, even though it is a gummy. So I appreciate okay. that, but I wish it would have hit it earlier. Perfect, next ad. What do you think about that static ad? I, a lot, it's busy. There's a lot going on here. Um, good thing you have good quality talent in the middle, <laughs> um, but it, it has me hooked because I'm, I'm looking all over the place, left and right. So I do, I do like the fact that uh, I don't know why I'm wearing a hat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six because uh, I, I was fat. Perfect. All Next the weird ad. shit that you like to do. DJ call it. This was I, all time 10. 10, 10, 10. I love that one. This is a weird one. What's it for? This was for like my our, our editing business, right? That's correct. And I was like, we can do anything all the time, yeah. even if it, like you're weird. Yeah. And I was like, a weird thing. Was that shot here? Yeah, it was shot here. Wow. here. Oh boy. Affiliate World CEO Chad Wilton normally keeps his cool at shows. Have you ever seen him lose it? You were sweating so. I told you I was gonna sweat, dude. I actually, yeah, actually, I, I, I in, in Dubai, I did Chad dirty, and he kept it together. But he, he he made it very clear that I fucked up. Yeah. And he like, look, that's not that's not the biz. And he was just straight with me on it, and he didn't like hold it against me. He didn't do anything crazy. Um, but I did. I saw him lose it. So it, I don't even know. For, for a normal person, that's probably like a, a very low level losing it. Yeah. But for Chad, I was like, wow. <laughs> Man, we won't explain what you did. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Want, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I need to. <laughs> Chad is in the room, so if he hears it again, it's probably bring back triggers, right? Yeah. I'll be yeah. Like, he's in. Yeah. Anyways. I mean, he's already punished you enough with this, right? I'm literally dying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Swing so number ten. It's a make or break. The hottest sauce. Do you want to do it last dab? Well, I mean, we're already Final here. dab? We're already right? Here. Might as well, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Cheers. 
<laughs> what a heavy pour. <laughs> oh my god, that is gonna be so hot. You can feel it already. Final wing activity. We're gonna go ahead and take a penalty shot at Nick at the goalie right over there. Okay. I have a goal drawn right over here with tape. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm right here, is good? Ten wings, congratulations for Affiliate World Hot Wings. Nick Shackleford again. Nick, I gotta ask you, who do you challenge next to be on this challenge? I challenge Phoenix. Get up here. Let's go, baby. Good job, man.